hi everyone, it's Janet and I am so happy that today we get to talk to Delson Niampaye, who is the Village of Hope director for both of our Village of Hope sites in Burundi, Africa. And he is also the legal representative for Cross Church Burundi. So he's a busy, busy guy and we thought it would be great if we could actually talk to Delson today and he could tell us what's happening in Burundi. So the first thing I wanna ask you Delson is, what is the current situation in Burundi in regards to the coronavirus? So we have about five cases confirmed and uh, one of those five cases, one has died already. But uh, it seems still that uh, our government is really not taking it that serious. Life is normal in general, except just the washing of hands that is happening everywhere. And has it affected the way that you are caring for any of the children at Village of Hope? So far, it's not affecting because we, the time it came very strong and we observed the first case in Burundi. So it was towards the closure of the school holidays. So as I, we are talking now, the children are in holiday. We will need just to make some adjustment when they come back. We've put some measures in place to ensure that children, the children are protected. And what about the upcoming election, Delson? Is what's happening in Burundi now with the election? So concerning the elections, uh, it seems everything is going as planned. And the government is very much put into efforts in that, much focused on the elections. So I believe with or without corona, the elections will still hold in Burundi. Excellent. Yeah. That's such good news in light yeah. of what happened in previous year's elections. So we are, we're very happy to hear that, Delson. Yeah, it's, it's really good because we look at the situation. Uh, the anticipation is that there will be a peaceful election. Yeah. And uh, what about the new classrooms at Moravia? Tell us what the progress is being made on the new classrooms. So we've made very good uh, progress on the on Moravia classrooms. So we're most final stages. Things that were remaining were windows and and the doors which are being put today. We have the in, inside done, and uh, we'll be many just the final touches outside. So it's, it's really good progress. The work generally, major works are done on the classrooms. So you'll be expanding the school now to have a grade three? Is that what will be in that new building? Not now. We'll use them because we, we've been having the grade one and two and the preschool one, two, three. So we are shifting a part of our preschool in those buildings and the so the grade three will be ready in September. Oh, perfect. That I can picture it all in my mind. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what about the new church at Moravia? So we heard that you opened that church this past weekend. Tell us what's going on with the new church. Yeah. So we really thank God that uh, the new church is holding in Moravia. We just had a... Uh, an official opening and announced the official opening on Sunday. We were really, we didn't know what to happen and we didn't know, we we're not sure of the situation because of uh, uh, the corona thing. But we, we generally have about around 80, 80 people coming, uh, adults and about 150 children coming every, uh, every Sunday. It's really, it's really a, uh, Encouraging, it's really encouraging. From the meeting we had on Sunday, we have one of the local leaders uh, committing to be coming to the church from now on. We really pray that God will help us. It's, it's a new church and uh, many people wanting to come. We have already many children. So, but uh, we, we really thank God for the response yeah, from the community. So finally, Delson, how can we in Canada pray for Burundi and pray for you and the churches? How can we pray for you? How do you, what do you want us to pray for? First, 
and uh, I, I would ask prayer in the area of this disease, Corona virus, COVID-19. We pray that it shall not spread. We have already five cases conf confirmed. So we do appreciate your prayer so that does not spread because if it does, our government is not really taking it serious. I believe many people would be affected. And also, in line with that, divine protection uh, of our churches and uh, our close church, churches and families. Maybe the other prayer provision because see, it's affecting it's 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 affecting all areas. Uh, God need to come in so that uh, we we'll continue to care for these children and be able to meet uh, their needs. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Delson, and we will be sure to remember all those things in prayer. And we thank you that we know that the cross churches in Burundi are praying for Canada and for Cross Church Winnipeg, and we really appreciate that. And we will just be more than delighted to uh, pray for all these things that you've asked for. So uh, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me today, and God bless you, Pastor Delson.